What's up, guys? It's Skill Zerk. Man of my words, here's the second phase of the raid. Alright, first, let's uh, show that we're still doing the first phase. There's a Dig Camp 1, because we just did the first part of the raid, so we're doing the second part now. the outside when it starts. As you can see I changed my turrets to where it goes turret space, turret space, turret space, turret space, all the way around as explained in the last video. Alright. And from the last video you've seen of course that the fences weren't damaged at all. But in between waves, so you get done with the first wave, you have 12 or 24 hours, depending on whatever timer it wants to give you at the time. So after that, uh, and between that, after the first wave, you can repair whatever defenses are damaged if somehow you manage to get damaged. But from the last video, this defense, your fence will never get broken. Now there's an armored zombie. Here's proof that they aren't even going to do anything to that gate. Now let's look at the gate. Yeah, they did that much damage with an armored zombie. So, uh, yeah, they're not going to break through at all. It's just not going to happen. I hit by a bullet there. Your turrets, by the way, might hit you, but they won't damage you. So it's safe to get shot by your turret. Alright, back to our job. Taking off the big red case circles, which are basically these mini-bosses. And of course, we ignore the armored zombies and the regular zombies because they're useless. We seen from the last video they can't even break through your first wall of defense, so let alone the second wall. Outside jumpers, of course, which will jump over and kick your turrets. Take out this bomb over here. Alright, use down. You can actually quite see how big the masses of zombies are. Like, there's huge hordes of zombies. Let's zoom in and just watch this entire horde as they don't even break a single wall of defense. They can't even penetrate it. No, if only my mom was this wall. Alright, so we've taken down that entire horde. They didn't even damage the wall at all. And you can see that the entire place is clear for quite a while, actually. They're not supposed to be cleared that fast, I don't think. That's why it gives you extra time to initially clear the waves of zombies. But because our base is invincible, we clear a far long before the next wave. Now, whenever I stated wave earlier, I mean the entire wave because it's considered one wave to have uh, this entire uh, timer thing. As you can see, the end of wave thing. So we're doing both uh, both waves. We did the last wave in the last video. They didn't damage. Uh, they didn't destroy anything, and they barely damaged the walls at all. But we did have a jumper, but the jumper died before we could explain all of what they do. Of course, uh, minded that there's two turrets that are aiming directly at the digger for jumpers. But other than that, it's base turret, base turret, base turret, all the way around the base defense, with a secondary wall of defense around that. But we explained that in the first video, so... Alright, let's take out these bombers. By the way, I'm finding all these bombers uh, should be really self-explanatory on the mini-map there, that you can see most of the zombies have regular circles. Armored zombies and regular zombies have just regular circles, because they're garbage, and... They can't even break through your first wall of defense, so it's not even worth really talking about them. But let's just watch. This uh, seems to have a lot of armored zombies in between these waves. So let's see, can they break through our first wall of defense? I mean, in the pretending case that they could, uh, specifically, there'd be another wall. Alright, so they did a little bit of damage, but if you look at the timer left on our clock, you can tell quite easily they're not getting through that first wall. The second wall is kind of just overdoing it, but, uh, you know, the first wall would probably be enough. 
but I like to make sure. I like to be overly defended whenever I'm doing a defense mission. And I take him down. But uh, that should be the end of what can get to us, considering the time left. Let's watch these guys get annihilated against our invincible wall of defense. Oh, they, did they make it through that fence? No, they didn't. Alright, so let's do our quarterly thing. We're going to start here at this uh, onion planter, so you know where we're at. Then start and go all the way around the wall and see, did they break through our first wall of defense? Through the entire five minute timer, we didn't do anything except for take out bombs, and we scoped in and watched the walls do all the rest of the work. The walls and the turrets, of course. Now as you can see, it doesn't look like any of the walls even got damaged at all. This is the fourth and the final wall. To the last segment, and check out our onion planter to show where we're at. Alright, let's get on the inside so we can collect our rewards. Except, we're not going to get our rewards because Konami decided, even though maintenance is supposed to be Tuesday, they wanted to do it this time on Monday, so we're not going to get these rewards. Let's watch our beautiful maintenance screen, because they did maintenance at the wrong time. Bam, no rewards. Good job, Konami. Thanks for that. Maintenance is apparently Monday, 6 to 9, and not Tuesday, like they mentioned. That's it for this video. And remember, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you dislike this video, please dislike and subscribe. Peace out, guys.